I am not selfish. And anytime I find something that benefit me, I always want to share with you. I want to be the ambassador of Ghana is not just Accra. Because for the past one week, I decided to go on a journey to discover the hidden games in other parts of Ghana, which is not just in Accra. And throughout my discoveries, I found out that indeed, Ghana has a lot of hidden games. And all the places that I've been to, I found nothing but peace and serene environment. Let me show you something, the reason why I'm saying this. This is an ocean, that's the Atlantic Ocean. And right in front of the Atlantic Ocean, this is Sojan Cabin, which is glass cabin facing right in front of the ocean. And it's so unique to the extent that when I'm walking around, I could see my face in the mirror. But when you are in there, the person outside cannot see you. You know what? I'm going to show you around to convince you that it's about time to book this place for that weekend getaway. Go beyond Accra, go search for peace, go search for, I mean, fresh air from ocean. Believe me or not, I feel like I am 30 years younger now for just living one week away from Accra. Can you tell me something that I don't know about Sojourn Cabin? Okay, so um, Sojourn is a peaceful and a quiet environment where people want to have a relaxing vacation. So to ensure this, we only have three cabins. Mm. Just three cabins, the sand cabin, the sand cabin, and the sea cabin. Each of these cabins have its own pool. We don't want to, um, share anything with any cabin or any other guest. So uh, we try as much as possible to ensure privacy for each guest too. So that's why strategically we position all the cabins. So Very this spacious. Cab yes, yeah, so this cabin has the pool in front and then this cabin is also shifted back and the other cabin has the uh, pool hidden. Hmm. So we are trying as much as possible to ensure privacy for our guests. And um, it's not open to the public. So you can't drive and say you are coming to sleep here. You need to book and plan your stay well. So wow. that, yes. So we don't even operate restaurant services over here. Wow. Yes. So um, each cabin has its own kitchen. So you can do your own cooking or you can book our private chef. So our private chef will take care of your meals or you can also order meals from Akmapu Beach Resort. <laughs> They say a way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But I don't know how they're gonna, yo, that code does not work for you, I guess. <laughs> no, not really. Not really, since, yeah. since you cook your own food, uh, man. Exactly. Hey, and if you wanna marry this guy, you have to find an extra way to impress him. <laughs> come, for that, come for that secret from me, I'll teach you. <laughs> you. You don't need food, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, what are you doing, man? Okay, so I'm making some pancakes. Pancakes? And, yeah, and some uh, waffles. You know, I, I love the fact that whenever you sleep at Sojan Cabin, you got yourself a private chair. Yeah. And it's incredible, man. Yo, I, my whole life, I've never had a private chef. So you finally broke that private chef virginity. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Can I just taste one? I know you are not done yet, but yeah. please, I just want to taste something. Okay, uh, you learn how to cook from school or from home? From school and from home. From home? Yeah. Wow. Nice. Hmm. Oh, okay. You want to give me some for mm, hell no so this is for this is our breakfast here yeah? yeah 
Okay. So, I can't wait for all of us to sit and enjoy the breakfast. You can also bring your own food and we have microwaves that you can use to microwave your food. Wow. As part of our services, um, you, when you arrive, we give you a welcome coconut. Um, there's a fort and the memorial garden of return in Anumabo. We add it to our package as part of giving back to the community mm. so that our guests will also get to know the community. Okay. And um, your last night, we set a bonfire for you to enjoy the breeze as at the same time feeling the warmth of the fire. That's really beautiful, man. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah. I love the fact that this idea came into existence because six people decided to partner to make this dream a reality. And I'm just going to tell each and every African out there, it's about time to partner with other Africans to make a dream come true. Instead of always trying to do this by yourself. To you all, I know you are listening to me, but at the right time, we'll have a proper conversation. So on behalf of my entire audience, I want to say congratulations for making this dream a reality. But one thing that I love about this place is the fact that it's a glass house. If you are living in a glass house, don't throw stone. And what makes it more unique is the fact that when you are outside, you can see yourself. So I can actually dress up in here to make sure that I look good. I mean, I can get closer just trying to figure out what is in there. All I could see is my face. Yeah, my handsome face. <laughs> I love you guys, man. And I love the privacy in here. You see? If you live here, the people over there cannot see you. If you live in there, the people in here cannot see you. If you live over there, the people in here cannot see you. So whenever you come in here, you're coming for your comfort and your privacy. And this is something that I always preach. But if you guys want to, I mean, come with a group, you can also come. But the room takes only six people. That stays here at a time. I think I need to show you guys where I spend the night and I'm done for the day. But I want to ask you a question. Do you miss me? It's been long since I did a YouTube video. Where did I go? I've been around. I decided to take care of myself. And I thank you all so much for staying in tune to watch my videos. Please, I love you guys, man. And thank you so much for the love and support. I really love and I appreciate every single one of you. Can you do me a favor and like this video? Thank you. Can you just leave a comment and tell me you love me? Thank you. And please, subscribe and be part of this awesome channel if you are new here. Come along, let me show you where I spend the night. So, it's more like it was built with a glass, wood, and sand and cement. That's so cool, man. And I could see some metals too. So yeah, I mean, as an, I'm not an architect, but I know that a lot of engineering went into this building. Welcome. I know the first thing that you guys are gonna see is that when someone is outside, they cannot see what is in here. But when I am in the room, I can see everything out there but don't forget that in the evening when you're sleeping here make sure you pull all these curtains because in the evening even when somebody is out there they can see you in the evening so make sure you protect that secret at night by just drawing these curtains thank you i love the fact that the room it's more minimalist, but a touch of luxury. You got your bed right here, and you're good. You got your steady area, and you still got your mini fridge 
right here. If you want to sit down with your partner and talk about how to make it in life, you can just sit here and make it happen. Don't tell me it's not incredible. But also, you got yourself a bathroom with your shower and your toilet, your sink, it's right here. Everything in here is so small and I love it. Welcome once again to Sojourn Cabins. Mm -hmm.